What's up guys, Spiro here from WPSociety.com and in today's video I'm going to teach you how to install WordPress locally on your Windows 10 computer. I've split this tutorial into 5 easy steps so it's really easy and simple to follow. In the first step we are going to install web server. In the second step we are going to download WordPress. Third step install or better to say create database. In the fourth step create users and grant permission to our database. And in the final step we are going to install WordPress on our localhost and test that everything is all right. Now, before we go to the content, I just wanna let you know that here at WP Society, we create WordPress tutorials for beginners, intermediate and advanced users. So make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any new videos. Now, without further ado, let's hop into the content. All right, guys, we are now inside my computer. Let's get hands dirty. In the first step, we said we're gonna download VAMP server. So let's hop on uh, Google and you can go Google and you can search for VAMP server. And it's the same website, vampserver.com. Just click on it. And now download Vamp Server, whether you have 30 bit Windows or you have 64 bit Windows. I have a 64 bit Windows. And I'm going to use this di direct download link here. It's going to take like five seconds. And now we can save it into our computer. I'm gonna use this content for tutorial folder that I've created for purposes of this tutorial, obviously. So just save, it's gonna take a couple of seconds. Still downloading. All right guys, now when VAMP server is uh, downloaded, make sure you run an installation as an administrator. And then just give it permissions. English, accept the agreement, click next, next. And now we can select uh, our VAMP folder. Remember this VAMP64 will be later folder for our localhost. So in this VAMP64, we are going to create a folder and name it whatever, WordPress demo site. And then when we accessing that WordPress demo site, we'll write localhost forward slash WordPress demo site and press enter and it will load that sort of a URL as it's a, some other normal domain. Now you know what we're gonna use this for. So. When you decide what you want, just write it, whatever. I'll, I'm gonna use default because that's easiest. Next. And then VAMP server 64 and install. It's gonna take around five minutes uh, to fully install. It, it takes long even on my i9 computer. And actually it was quite faster than I've expected. Uh, now Internet Explorer will be used for VAMP server. Would you like to choose another browser install on your system and select yes and then find obviously Chrome. I think Chrome is going to, is it going to program files or to Windows program files? I think uh, Google Chrome application Chrome. Yep. So it's going to C drive program files, Google Chrome and then application Chrome.exe file and select yes. And actually, no, but it's just fine. I might take another 30 seconds and then next finish and your VAMP server is installed, but it's not running yet. Now, after installation is done, you can see that new icon, VAMP server icon has uh, appeared on our desktop. All you have to do now is click right click on the icon and run as administrator. And it might take a couple of minutes, but when this here, icon goes from red to orange and when it's fully working it turns into green so we still need to wait a little bit longer and after around one minute it's gonna activate all the services uh, if something doesn't work or it doesn't start services after a minute or two you can click left click on this vamp icon and then you can stop or restart all services and then start them again now our web server is up and running. We want to continue to the step number two. In step number two, we said we are going to download WordPress. So it's quite simple. Go to wordpress.org and then just click get WordPress and download your WordPress. Save. Now, while it's still downloading, we can progress to step number three. In the third step, we said we are going to create database. To create one, you want to click left click on this vamp icon and then you want to go into php my admin 
PHP My Admin is actually database administration tool, and to access it, you default username is root and no password at all. So just type username root and no password and click go, and we'll log you into your PHP My Admin on your localhost. Now to create database, click here on the new, and then give your database a name. I'm gonna call mine WP underscore demo. And that's it, our third step is done. And we are ready to move forward to the fourth step. Fourth step is to create a database user and grant the permissions to access this database that, we just, that we've just created. And to do so, we wanna click here on PHP My Admin and then user accounts. You can see how user accounts looks like and add new user option is down below. And now username, you, you can type anything. I'm just gonna put WP Society and then you can generate any password. I just always click generate. And here is the password, right? I'm just gonna copy the password. And then underneath, click here and it says check all and it's gonna grant permission for everything to this user towards that database. And now all you have to do is click here, go. And that's it guys. We've finished with the step number four. Before we move to the last step, I just wanna give you a little tip Maybe it's smart to open up a notepad or maybe if you use a notebook and write down your database details, user details and password to access the database with that particular user. So for us, that was WP demo and then it was WP society, right? And then password was this one. So I'm just going to store it here and I'm going to move it to the other screen so I can find it later. And now we can close this browser. WordPress download is done. We're gonna extract it in here. And then we're gonna copy this WordPress folder. And we're gonna go to C, VAMP64. And then this www folder, because that's our default folder for our localhost. Paste it in here. And now let's quickly test it. Let's go to localhost. And you can see this is our localhost. And here's our project. Th those are the folders inside the particular VAMP64 installation folder and www. So if we just create another folder, new project one, a new project one, and refresh in here, that's another project, right? If you want to access this project right now, all you have to do is forward slash and new project and here we go that's new project one if you if we type wordpress it will open up a wordpress installation but we don't want to install under localhost wordpress so you want to name it after your project and i'm just gonna call this demo or youtube because this is for purposes of the youtube and that's the name of my project i'm gonna go here youtube and I'm just gonna continue with English. Okay, database name. What was my database name? WP demo. Username was WP society. Password I stored on the other window. Just give me a second. Here we go. Database host is a local host. Table prefix, you can put anything. This is the default one, just leave it. Click submit and run the installation. And here we go, site title, YouTube demo, admin, admin, confirm use of the weak password. This doesn't, these details here doesn't matter. I think you have to enter email, otherwise it won't let you continue. So just put your email or some random email and click install WordPress. And here we go, guys. Here we have it, admin, admin, and you have your clean installation of your WordPress running directly from your local host. You can do whatever you want, play, develop, and test your sites in here before you move them to the live server. Uh, with that being said, guys, we got to the end of this video. Now, before I knock off, I just wanna ask you if you're interested in making money online, I'm gonna show you my number one most recommended opportunity online. Make sure you check that link down below in the description of this video, apply for my email list, and I'm gonna send it over to you right away, right now. And with that being said, guys, we got to the end of this video. Also, if you like this video, make sure 
you comment on the video, smash the like, and if you like me and my work, you might want to consider to subscribe and hit the notification bell as well, so you don't miss any new videos. On the right hand side, I'll make sure to leave two other great tutorials, so keep watching and I'll see you again.